in the name of allah the most beneficent the most merciful uh, dear students assalamu alaikum today we are going to discuss about sputtering uh, first of all i want to introduce myself my name is alishan asif and, and today we are going to uh, introduce the most basic uh, concept of sputtering uh, before starting sputtering uh, we have to know about the thin film and thin film deposition so i want to introduce the thin film a thin film is a layer of material ranging from fractions of a nanometer to several micrometer in thickness here you can see a picture of a thin film this is the real uh, substrate upon which a thin film is deposited here you can see the thin films in dotted form right so uh, you must have an idea about the thin film that a thin film is a, a fraction of layer that is ranging from nanometer to micrometer in thickness right uh, next i want to tell you that what are the what do you mean by thin film deposition there are two types of thin film deposition the first one is a physical deposition and the second one is chemical deposition there are further two types of uh, physical deposition the one is uh, evaporation that is pvd a uh, pvd means physical vapor deposition and the second one is sputtering that is our concerned topic of the day the other type is chemical deposition there are two types of chemical deposition the one is chemical vapor deposition that is shortly known as cvd and the other is atomic layer deposition or uh, that is uh, shortly known as ald and today our topic is uh, sputtering that we have to discuss in the pre in our next lecture thin film deposition uh, uh, this is an overview of the thin film deposition here is a substrate upon substrate both physical methods and chemical methods are applied our concern is just with to deposit a thin film on our substrate what do you mean by substrate substrate is the surface upon which we have to deposit our thin film so both from physical method and chemical method we can proceed this step i mean uh, to deposit thin film so there might be possible physical methods that are evaporation sputtering reactive sputtering and might be possible there are th further three of chemical methods that are cvd means uh, chemical vapor deposition lower pressure cvd and plasma enhanced cvd that are two types of chemical vapor deposition right next uh, evaporation uh, in this you can see two types of uh, evaporation the one is thermal evaporation and the other is electron beam evaporation in thermal evaporation you can see that uh, one is our target material that is uh, aluminum film sorry that is aluminum metal upon which uh, we have to uh bombarded the electrons electrons beams and uh, uh, we can perceive this process in two ways one is uh, we can just heat the metal surface that is our target material with heating board that is uh, made up of uh, w w mean tungsten that is highly uh, boiling uh, metal ha have high boiling point and multi point in the project table we have to heat the aluminum metal uh, in the heating board and then it will be uh, excrete out remove its atoms from its surface uh, that is basically the sputtering and it will be uh, the atoms of the surf from the surface will be heat to the wafer wafer is our substrate here upon which deposition of aluminum film occurs the next in electron beam evaporation we will use an electron source electron will be hit on this aluminum metal 
that is crucible in water cooled and it will uh, remove its atoms and uh, at the excreted atoms will be deposited in the form of thin film on the wafer so these are two basic types of evaporation by these by knowing this process we can uh, understand the concept of sputtering betterly here introduction to sputtering sputtering is a physical process in which atoms in a solid state which is our target material are released and passed into the gas phase by bombardment with energetic ions that are basically noble gas ions and usually uh, this gas is argon we can also use further gases but argon is more suitable so we use preferably sputtering in surface physics is used as cleaning method for preparation of high priority surfaces sand as method for analyzing the chemical composition of surfaces sputtering is usually understood as a sputter deposition a high vacuum based coating technique belonging to the group of physical vapor deposition here the one idea has been uh, clear that sputtering is a type of physical vapor deposition right principle of sputtering and sputtering system energetic ions that we have discussed that that are usually argon ions from the plasma plasma is a fourth stage of matter of a gaseous plasma of a gaseous discharge bombarded a uh, target that is cathode of the discharge target atoms are ejected and impinge on a substrate forming a coating Impinge, uh, impinging mean to activate them they are activated they excreted out from the target to do this a plasma is created by ionizing a pure gas a pure gas that is argon is ionized ionized mean it is converted into ions ag positive uh, sorry uh, ar positive by means of a potential difference we put potential difference or electromagnetic excitation that is might be possible that may be mf or rf mf is magnetron sputtering and rf is radio frequency sputtering here i can explain with diagram the process of sputtering this is a sputtering gas that is usually argon uh, we ionize it and uh, AR positive ion forms these ions will be struck onto the surface that is our target material it means a sputtering target this will be sputtered its ion its atoms that it will be excrete out its atoms atoms will remove from this uh, sputter target and they will uh, supply towards to the substrate and they will grow film here and thin film will be formed on this substrate right so this is a simple mechanism of sputtering basics of the sputtering process when bombarding a surface with ions various effects may occur depending on the ions used and their kinetic energy kinetic energy means uh, the energy due to the motion of the body is known as its kinetic energy material is removed from the bombarded target this is sputtering the ions are incorporated into the target material and enter there possibly a chemical compound this effect then called reactive ion implementation the ion condenses on the bombarded substrate where they form a layer ion beam deposition that is known as ion beam deposition right if a material must have to be removed then the ions must have a certain minimum energy it means that if we want to remove ions or atoms from the surface of our target material then they must have sufficient energy to uh, bombard to uh, transmit their atoms from the surface material the striking ions transmits its impulse to atoms of the bombarded material that is our target material which then activate further collisions after 
several collisions, some of the target atoms have a momentum away from the target interior. If such an atom is efficiently sufficiently close to the surface and has sufficient higher energy, it leaves the target. The spectral yield depends essentially on the kinetic energy and mass of the ions and on the binding energy of the surface atoms and their mass. In order to eject an atom from the target, the ions must have material dependent minimum energy that is typically 30 to 50 electron volt. Above this threshold, the yield increases. The ratio of the masses of ion and target atom determines the possible momentum transfer. For light target atoms, maximum yield is achieved when the mass of target and ion approximately matches. Right? In this slide, we will discuss about effects of mass of target material. However, as the mass of the target atoms increases, the maximum of the yield shifts to our higher mass ratios between the ion and target atom. The ion bombarded generates not only neutral atom but also secondary electrons to a lesser extent. Secondary ions and cluster of different masses. What do you mean by here? Secondary electrons. These are electrons generated as ionization products. They are secondary because they are generated by other radiation. Uh, the primary radiation, this radiation can be in the form of ions, means electrons or photons, photons with sufficiently high energy. Here I can explain all the previously explained phenomena. Here you can see that this is incident ion, that is organ ion. It will subtract itself to the substrate. Here there might be possible that the atoms will be sputtered or in this form this is a sputtered atom it may contain maximum kinetic energy from the incident ion and it will be sputtered from the sputtered mean ejected out from the surface or this is the surface this is the first surface and this is the second surface that is known as lattice surface and might be possible it gives energy to the electrons and secondary electrons removes from the surface or maybe its better uh, its effects may be uh, to be upon the uh, lower atoms and this better uh, uh, lower surface atoms or maybe ions or maybe it has low energy and it uh, gets electrons from here and it will reflect it as neutral ions or atom right this is explanation of the uh, diagram. In uh, uh, what do you mean by sputter yield? The yield which we uh, gain after uh, sputtering, the production which we gain after sputtering process is known as sputter yield. Sputtering process is characterized by sputter's yield. Sputter yield is equal to ejected atoms or molecules from the surface of a target material over incident ion that are our argon ion. S uh, values are typically in the range of 0 0.01 and 4 in some books that is 5 and increase with the mass of metals and energy of the sputtering gas. I hope you have understand. Thank you so much for watching this video.